section 2 creating lightning components in this section we are going to take a look at bmi calculator component not having a look at we are developing bmi calculator lightning component remember we learn while we develop while developing this bmi calculator we are going to learn how to create a lightning component using developer console and test it and the difference between standalone application we have one dot app like that we are going to have a custom application component then the attributes and expressions the value providers component bundle then the client side controller how to see the log messages in the browsers javascript console the field validations with custom error messages styling with css resource conditional styling based on the result a tab for the lightning component so that we can use it in lightning experience as well as in salesforce one mobile application then we need to have another functionality enroll now or sign up button which will take to visual force page with parameters so here while developing the bma calculator in this video we will see how to create a lightning component using developer console and test it to test it we can use that in the existing lightning experience page or we can have a custom standalone application and we will observe how the further development goes so to create a custom lightning component we need developer console you have set up icon developer console file menu new here i have lightning component lightning application the difference between lightning application and lightning component is the lightning application is a standalone application you can test it in the browser lightning component means the reusable component okay what i am doing now is i am having lightning application first bma calculator app see what i do have bma calculator app this is the name provided by me and dot app this is the extension this is the application component okay save look at the right side you have bundle of resources application resource controller resource helper resource style resource etc this application resource or component both are nothing but markup visible to the user markup i have application and you have preview button here click on the preview so in the browser our my domain after that namespace the default namespace is c so slash c after that app name dot app you find your markup over here okay so application component and component component both are nothing but markup what the user will see where the user will interact now application is ready my purpose here is to put my components in this application so that i can test easily straight away in the browser only that is the purpose here then let me go for component so bma calculator comp and i have some interfaces here you want to use this component as lightning tab lightning page record page in communities as a quick action these are some interfaces that automatically being implemented for you if you don't want just uncheck okay once i check those interfaces you find ara colon component and implements equals to so on so interfaces coming to the application it is starting with ara colon application ara is the namespace and application is that applications component coming to here ara is a namespace component is the outermost component for a component well now this reusable component what i am doing is hello world after that you can use html all html tags you can use because this is markup come back to your application which is a standalone application here what i am doing you embed the component c colon emi copy paste save this one yeah saved update preview you find hi world this path is from the applications markup itself and after that hello world and line break and after that i am in bma calculator component and again second time third time okay so the same thing is printed thrice it doesn't make more sense of reusability in the future videos i will show more about the reusability then it will get some sense and more meaning so we have observed how to create a custom lightning component using developer console and test it 
in the standalone application in the browser.